This video is sponsored by Squarespace. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get that dope spotlight look in your photos. I'm gonna use an LED light and for my strobe heads out there with a flash as well. I'm even gonna show you how to add color to the outside of the spotlight. So let's get it, baby. All right, so this is the Godox VL150 LED and the Godox SA17 projector attachment. It's gonna allow me to project a beam of light, kind of like what a snoot would do, but what's cool is that you can quickly change the size of it, as well as adjusting the focus of the light so I can sharpen or soften up the edges. I'll get more into detail about that later, but using an LED light, it's convenient. You can see everything happen in front of you, but you're most likely gonna cook your model's eyes up like barbecue. Now, if you don't have the brightest LED light, this is a quick hack for you in Lightroom. Well, first of all, if you don't have my Drake preset pack, you're totally missing out on life right now. All right, so now uh, we're gonna go to the radio tool, outline the circle, and then drop the exposure of everything outside the spotlight for a more dramatic effect. What's cool is that you can use this attachment with flash as well. Here I'm using the Westcott FJ200 flash, and I'm getting maybe a little bit more power, but the best part about it is that I'm not cooking her eyes out with the LED light. You can also turn on the modeling light of this flash to help you frame up your shot. Now we're gonna add some colors to the shadows. I have a flash on each side, aimed at the wall. And the key here, is to not get a hotspot anywhere in the image. If it looks like this, that's no bueno. Use a lower power until you get something that looks like this. Now in Lightroom, I would use one of my Lightroom presets to quickly add some contrast and make the colors more vibrant. I usually go down to the HSL panel when I'm playing with colors and I'm gonna just see what works and I think this pink looks better for this image. And after taking it to Photoshop, quick skin retouch, this is the final photo. All right, here's a little bonus tip for you. You can use this spotlight as a backlight as well to create a halo behind the model. You would have to place it directly behind them or else you're not gonna get a perfectly circular projection. So have them block it with their body. I'm recording this like four days after the shoot that I just showed you. And what I've been able to create in those four days in other photo shoots that I'm gonna show you in other videos with this right here, it is just, it's actually just blown my mind. This is one of the best photography purchases that I've ever made. There's some things that you don't even know about, like what you can do with this. It's very versatile. And I think if you stick around and uh, I'll show you like what flashes it works with. This video is sponsored by none other than Squarespace. If you've been looking for a website, blog, or an online store, you should be checking out Squarespace. I have been using Squarespace for years. They host my online store where I sell my Lightroom presets and my tutorials makes great site income. If you wanna make a website, you don't need to know coding. It's so easy to use. And they have 24 seven customer support. I save some money, use the code Manny, and you will get 10% off. I bought everything here. No one sent it to me for free. I bought it because I, I, I thought that this would benefit me in some way in my photography, right? Cause I'm trying to do something different, man. I'm tired of doing the same old thing. So here's the lens. This is like uh, the lens that it comes with. And you see, this is as wide as it gets. That's as wide as it gets. It's not a very, wide projection but you can go on bnh photos website and i just bought a wide angle lens for this so that it projects a wider uh spotlight and then they also also they also have a telephoto one that even projects a smaller beam which i'm also going to cop all right here is the projection unit itself and this is the bowens mount adapter that you're going to need if you have a bowens mount light now you can buy gel sheets for this projection and also you can buy gobos. This is the slit gobo. I have been abusing this gobo in the past couple shoots, but it gives you such dramatic, a dramatic effect on your images. You see what you can do? You can create colored slits. What? But check this out. I'm gonna take this off like this. This is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna take, actually, why don't I just shut off the light? I'm gonna take this off 
As you see, this is a Bowen's mount. Now the tricky part about this is when you're attaching it to a flash, the bulb has to clear this or it's not gonna work. This is the 80, the Godox 8400. 400 watts of power. A lot more than this little LED flash. And watch this. It actually fits. The bulb fits in there. Click. So you're able to use this projection with, a, with an 8400, which means you're getting a lot more power, which means that you're gonna have more control of your light. And that is a beautiful thing. Now, any flash that attaches to a Bowens mount adapter right here will, will work. Like the FJ200, it's pretty flat, so you're not gonna have any obstruction with the adapter right here. You're not gonna have any obstruction. It's really easy to fit on. You can also use the 300 Pro onto here as well with the, with the adapter. And of course, you can use the 8200, and I think you can also use it with the bare bulb because it's thin enough that it fits in the Bowens mount adapter. So you want the bulb to fit in here. My FJ400, my other flashes, I think the bulb, the bulb is too big, it doesn't fit. But if you have a 400 watt light or the 300 or the 200, you're gonna be able to use this projection unit. <laughs> Look, you can use uh, window, window slits, focus. Honestly, I think I'm gonna leave the video right here. I'm not gonna say anything else because this deserves a dedicated video. It does. And how I use it in real time and how I use it in conjunction with other lights because I've been having too much fun. I'm excited to take photos again. I'm not bored. I got bored of doing the same thing. Like I got a lot of videos coming up soon um, and using this really dramatic stuff, really fun stuff. Stay tuned. Just like that, just like that. Just like that, just like that.